Rowan, are you gonna be okay over there, son? All right, well, you just you just stay over here having a good day playing with the plants and the furniture catalog. But I'm, I'm glad to see you're taking such an interest in organizational matters, my, my dear son. One day this farm may be yours after all. All right, so we've had our hot cup of coffee. Speaking of hot cups of coffee, let me go get some for Leia. Leia! I'm going to take a nature walk today. I need to get out of the house. There you go, that sounds wonderful, Leia. Let me go ahead and give you your fresh cup of coffee so that you can start the day with a pep in your step. There we go. And we'll get more coffee brewing, even though I'm more of a tea person, because holy moly, the coffee really helps with getting the day started. And finally, speaking of getting the day started, let me go ahead, have I made spicy eel yet? That's really a dramatic meal to try to make for my family, but I do not believe I have made spicy eel yet so let me see if i have an eel let's see nothing in there do i have an eel in here uh -huh. i have one eel so let's do this guys i'm gonna make spicy eel for my family for breakfast <laughs> Just because I think that sounds kind of amazing and uh, I hope Leia will enjoy it. So there we go. All right, everyone. Hello and welcome to Mossley Farm here in Stardew Valley, where in my beautiful, somewhat plant-filled, somewhat chaotic home, we now have fresh flowers put out given to me by my lovely wife and we'll try to change them up every so often. We also put out a fresh meal every single morning so that my family has something delicious to eat and we've got more than enough tasks to shake a stick at and keep us very, very busy. So today, let's see what's going on in here. Dear Siri, here's a vegetable from the little garden I keep out back. You probably have more veggies than you know what to do with, but oh well, from Caroline. Oh, thank you, Caroline. All right, so today, oh my gosh, my friends, we were running all over the place yesterday. It looks like we still have some pathing work to do for my farm too. So we might think about doing paths. We might think about going and doing some mining. I definitely want to harvest these guys up since we learned that the snow yams actually sell for a hundred gold a piece. So we might sell some of this, maybe plant some more. But it has been very busy and we have been tackling one project after another on our farm during this winter family harvest series season and it's been really amazing but it has been a little overwhelming. So today might be another quiet day where we spend some time organizing the farm, maybe replacing some of the torches that we have out with some nice lamps and basically doing the maintenance work that'll make it really nice come spring to celebrate the arrival of the new season to be able to just kind of sit back and not have things be so messy and cluttered that would be really nice and I also think I might want to build maybe another shed for being like a planting shed and I wish I could designate like our gigantic shed as the only museum shed and the planting shed as something like small hmm I'm gonna have to think about that we might artificially make a plant shed instead by surrounding a bunch of crates with uh, fencing. But I would like to do that so that when spring comes, we feel a lot more organized. Right now, all of our like goods are all over the place. I've got all these crates <laughs> that are overflowing with little bits of path and cloth and maple seeds and dried sunflowers and poppies and bits of gold ore and an ancient fruit just rattling around. So I would like to just, yeah, we'll, we'll tidy things today. That'll be what we'll do. And maybe we'll do a little bit of treasure fishing later too. Since I do need to take this link cod we snagged and turn it in for a quest to Willy. So I think that's what we'll do today. We'll focus on tidying up the farm. Yeah, <sighs> feels good to have some resolution there. All right, let's go ahead and plant some of these seeds too. Because I like keeping a little winter harvest going constantly. All right, we'll plant these guys and just kind of go through all of them. And I guess we'll plant some more because we do tend to end up with a lot of seeds. There we go. There we go. Good to have something growing on the farm. I think Leia and I both prefer when there's at least something out here. All right, so there's that. And let's go ahead and pop over to the right really quickly. There, just so we have some, some music going again. My little trick I like to do. There. Yeah. All right, so let's just go ahead and we're going to sell everything that we got from that last harvest in terms of crystal fruit and winter roots and yams. And I'm going to go ahead and sell 
most of these flowers and then we'll give the other flowers away as gifts. So I think that'll be a good balance. When it comes to everything being chaotically messy, as you can see, we've got coral and plums and who knows what in here. I'm gonna leave a few things here. There we go, including the pine tar. But eventually we'll focus on clearing up all of those uh, crates that we have sprinkled around. And I think I would kind of like to set up like a little planting spot. Like if I can put crates back here, maybe have just like a little little spot where we can gather up uh, or maybe down here so we can surround it with flowers. But I would love to have a little spot that just felt sort of like a um, a little plant shed where I can sort through my different seeds and everything very quickly and easily. And I think it'd actually be fun to put down some fencing to sort of like designate that area. So, hmm. In fact, let me go ahead and experiment with this idea. I actually really like this idea now that we're onto it because I think it may really help with organizing the whole farm. So let's see, maybe if I do this like so, so you just feel like it's a little bit more separated and then clear away these trees right over here just because they don't need to be exactly right there and then there's one there there's one there there's one there we could even put a little gate that almost feels like this area is too big now but let's figure it out so this is going to be our little planting spot i'm going to get one chest two chest three chest four chest maybe one for each season might be good uh or like i guess winter isn't really a season we need to worry about but what if we did like a plant chest where we put the seeds for spring summer and autumn in here and then maybe miscellaneous things like the paths and the uh all of the the acorns and the pine cones I think I'm on to something. <laughs> Give me just a second, because I feel like we're kind of on to something here, especially if we can hide most of it just right back here. So what about maybe spring, summer, and autumn? So these are my little seed chests that we can say are in the back of the mill. And then I think I'm gonna take down this fence, maybe, or at least like that much of the fence. Um, Yeah, and then if I have one more chest, I wonder if I should have multiple chests. Hmm, like what if we had a box for sprinklers? We just always knew where to find our sprinklers. I wonder if we need a, a fourth one actually, or if we had a fourth one, what about like right here? And then everything's always hidden. And that's just like my little plant spot. Huh, I think that might work out. And then we can go ahead and make this like a light green. Let's do like maybe a pink for spring. Or let's do a green for spring. So a light green for spring. And then for summer, we could do orange. Well, for summer, probably yellow or red. I feel like summer red because we're gonna have a lot of peppers. And then for autumn, we can do orange. And then for all of these like acorns and the other forage items that you can find, uh, leaving it the normal brown would probably actually work. And actually that orange doesn't look orange at all. So let's do maybe like this orange. There we go, so spring, summer, and autumn seeds can go in there. Any of the other stuff, like fencing, extra wood, extra acorns, the forge items can go in there. I think that might change change things up quite a bit and we'll focus on mostly keeping seeds over there, I think. Um, like all of this fencing can go into the new chest and we don't want harvest per se, we want seeds in there. Like amaranth is a seed that grows during the fall. So let me come over here. So what if we kept it right in this one? Like so. All right, just like this. Oh, this is gonna be nice and tidy, uh-huh. And we might actually expand to have multiple chests. So like maybe one has sprinklers, maybe one has stuff dedicated to just like the acorns and the wood and wood related things. Maybe one has one that's dedicated just to like the building related things. Uh, we'll figure it out. We probably don't need that many chests, but this may actually really help us out. And I might want to put a couple, like a little row of seed makers over here. That may help out too. It may be useful to have these seeds in the greenhouse, but I I think it'd be more useful to have them out in the field where we could work with them. So that's probably gonna help us out a bit. All right, come on, let's ride roast stone. We'll work through the rest of that as time goes on. For now, I need to take care of things on the farm. They've been like, oh, I'm sorry, ladies, I'm so sorry. Everyone's so upset because I didn't, I didn't have them fed right yesterday. I'm so sorry, little baby wisteria. You're just a baby, wee baby chicken. You never asked for this nonsense. 
All right, let's grab a couple of their good eggs. I should probably make more mayonnaise makers, shouldn't I? They actually pull in a surprising amount of money, all considered. Uh, I've got enough. Let's see how many earth crystals we have. I, I don't think you actually use earth crystals for other things. So maybe it would be good to spend this time making a few mayonnaise makers. All right, let's pop these in here. Uh, earth crystals. Oh, wow. I actually have a lot of earth crystals. Uh, yeah, why not, why not have five mayonnaise makers? Why not do that? So let's grab some copper bars. One, two, three. So there we go. And yeah, let's do this. Mayonnaise makers. Why haven't I expanded on the mayonnaise makers in so long? That's a good question. No unique fruit from our bats. All right, let me do a little, a little music grab. Gosh, we really are spending the whole day on the ranch. Normally, I like to wander all over Stardew Valley, but I guess if we're actually going to be good farmers and take care of things, then I need to own up to it. There we go. And there's another one. And there's another one. There we are. And we can grab a couple more eggs to turn into mayonnaise. And I feel pretty good with that. Having just like a little row of... In fact, I kind of want one more mayonnaise maker so we have six all together. There we go. So let's go grab one. Because the mayonnaise actually does sell for surprisingly high considering the investment is so easy. All right, and then while we're in there, I need to grab, all right, another mayonnaise maker right there. And eventually, hopefully I can move this chest and let's grab some of these high quality grapes that we actually want to line up right here. No, don't eat the grape. There we go. But we wanted to line those up so that they can become a grape jam. There we go, which is another thing that Leia and I like to make on our farm. Phew, all right, well, I actually feel really good about that. Making more mayonnaise makers, not how I thought I was gonna spend my day, but there you have it. What I need is more, like, more kegs to make coffee. Because <laughs> now that we've got the coffee coming in, that's the nice thing about having the tea, though, is you can make as much tea as you want right away when you walk up to the uh, kitchen. So you do have to be in the kitchen, but it does help out a lot. So I'll take the coffee inside. I can turn the corn into oil. So I'll move all these and all of these I can sell. Fantastic. All right. All right, come along, Rose Stone. We've got much to do today, my dear. And it, it feels really weird to spend the whole day on the farm, but it's important. It's very important to make sure everybody's taken care of sometimes. Hello, little Rose! I still can't believe that our goat had a baby! That's so exciting! And I still love the idea of being able to have a whole bunch of deer roaming through the forest. So we do want to get a new... There we go. We'll grab this. We do want to get a new barn built in the forest so I can just fill it with deer. And they can roam free in our little forest at the edge of our farm. But I do need to upgrade our dinosaurs now that we have over 20,000 coins. I have promised our dinosaurs an upgrade to their, um, to their barn for quite a while so that they can be auto-fed and I don't have to worry when I forget about them. All right, let's get these upgraded. I wonder, I'm gonna keep that milk. Always good to keep the small milk so that you can make lots and lots of food out of them. There we go, there's that and there's that. Here we go, bye ladies. Fantastic, all right. So we are actually taking care of our farm today <laughs> instead of just running off and doing a bazillion other things. Yay, we have one dino egg. Hello everyone, yes, and having to manually feed you does distract me a little bit because you're way over on the edge. There we go, and I'll go ahead and sell this dino egg. So we do want to meet with Robin. I think I need a little bit more wood, so I might want to come down with rose stone and cut down some more of our trees to make more room. Let's see, maybe clear some of these trees out. They look suspiciously large. <laughs> there we go. All right, well, a nice full day on the family farm. Can't say that I am opposed to this. I do love my farm and I like the idea of sorting our seeds the way that I'm trying out now. Uh, whoops -a daisy I did not mean to grab that path. I have a feeling that uh, sorting the seeds is really going to help when it's time to plant them in the spring. And we do have a whole bunch of seeds inside of the greenhouse. And I do think I need to move a couple of the seed makers over to my new little seed station. That should probably help me out quite a bit. Oh, look at all these guys. Okay, let's come down here and let's clear out some of these tiny guys because I don't think they're gonna grow very well. And then these big guys. And then we'll plant a whole bunch of the seeds behind us so that hopefully the forest will repair itself after my attentions 
There we go. We'll grab. There's that. There's that. There's that. Do you guys remember when we got these special mushroom texture overrides? And we did it through challenging ourselves to find the mushroom level in the mines. And then after we did that, we said we researched them enough with Demetrius that we were allowed to have the special knowledge of what the mushroom trees look like when they're tiny. I love doing those kinds of personal challenges for myself. Do you guys do that? I really feel like it adds so much more if you give yourself challenges when you do fun little things. Because then you built up a story. All right, there we go. Let me grab that maple seed and this maple seed and fill some of this. And do I have any? Nope, I do not have any more pine cones. We're doing pretty good. Put the sap to the side. A bit more wood. I think you need about 300 wood or something in that range for upgrading a chicken coop too. So that's going to be important. And then let's see, I am gonna need, I am gonna need more of these paths because I have missed a spot over here. Hmm, nope, you just have to click to be able to make more stone paths. I missed a spot with the stone paths over here. So I do need to come over. There's those ones and those ones and kind of unite this spot. Uh, oh, that's noodle doodles. I was like, what the heck is walking on my farm? But it was just noodle doodles. But this area, I do want to turn into, like, this entire area into a flower spot when it comes springtime. Whoa. Oh, that's a mushroom tree, though. So we're going to have to go around the mushroom tree. But I can clear out this pine tree. Clear out this guy. And clear out these guys. There we go. And I guess we'll have to just, like, go... I'll clear out this little... There we go. We'll have to go around like this, I think, to avoid to avoid where I want, nope, 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 where I want to put all the flowers when it comes springtime. There we go. Because I do love growing a ton of the flowers. All right, up and around and around. And this, this path might have to be a little smaller because we're going to have to leave enough room for all of the plants to grow. There we go. All right, so slowly but surely... <laughs> spreading paths all over the place in very loop-de-loop -loop sort of ways. Let's check out this one where we've got our silo. All right, there. Kind of follow this way. Oh, and there's a little noodle doodle down here. Another rusty spur! That is hilarious! We have had so many rusty spurs adding to the history of this farm really having dealt with a lot of animals in its past in one form or another. And I have no idea how we're going to make this path work. I have a feeling it'll just kind of head up this direction. Wow, we've almost completed it though, you guys. I'm actually really surprised. I feel like it's more by accident of just like, okay, well, I guess we'll work on this for a couple minutes. And then before you know it, you actually get a project done. Let that be a life lesson to you. All right, and I like mixing these two paths together for what we do, it really turns out nicely. All right, let's do this and this one. And then we'll move a little bit over here. I do want to do some more fishing soon though because it's really fun to fish now that we have that pirate skill thing. All right, we do want to keep our path like, like so, like this. There we go. And let's fill in the gaps a little bit. And I'm going to mix up the path a bit more. There we are. Oh my gosh, guys, I didn't, I didn't set out with the intention of finishing our stone paths, but I feel like the main bulk of our stone paths are finally filled. You guys are going to be so happy because I always have so many people so upset that we've got our stone paths. Uh, we don't have a proper path through all of the grass when I let the grass just grow wild in the spring. So this should definitely please a lot of people. <laughs> there we are. It's not, it's, it's meandering and wandering. So I'll still feel like it has that organic shape and feel to it. Oh my gosh, is this going to be another rusty spur? No, it's a, it's a snow yam. <laughs> I was going to laugh so hard if it was another rusty spur, but there we go. So I do want to mix up, like some of these are just way too regular. And here, there we go. Let's get rid of these. I want to have these kinds of stepping stone paths mixed in because it looks nicer. And we'll continue to mix it in as time goes on. But it's getting late. I can't believe we spent the whole day on the farm for once. 
which is a good thing, mind you. Uh, that's what I was trying to sort of do for once. And I'm, I'm just surprised and shocked. But we did it. I really, I'm happy with this. I need to look at what it looks like when we load the entire farm with the map overviewer. Because it probably looks a lot more organized than it ever has ever before. And I forgot to take that to Willy, Fooey. All right. So tomorrow we'll have to go and visit with Willy. Today I just got really sidetracked with actually cleaning and taking care of my home. It's kind of amazing. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, like fiber and this kind of stuff can go in our new spot. Truffle oil clearly can go inside. See, look at this. We're actually organizing stuff. Oh my goodness. This is amazing. We can put away. No, don't drink the truffle oil. Why would you drink the truffle oil? <laughs> You're an odd child. All right, we'll put the truffle oil away in here. We'll put away the spicy eel. That'll be fantastic for us to eat when we go back into the mines. We'll grab this coffee so I can start the day with a brand new super fresh coffee to get me moving and grooving and moving fast. There's that. All right, we can put the milk away. There's just a lot of a lot of shuttling things from one spot to another right now. But in the future, once we have it all laid out so we know exactly where to go and how to get about, It'll be nice and easy. All right, and I can't wait for our, for our museum. There we go, that's what I was trying to say. I can't wait for our museum to really be up and going because one of my hopes for the museum is we can have entire areas where we have like representatives of one of each type of crop that you can grow and things of that nature. All right, almost done, almost done. Got the cloth, there we go. And the rusty spur, which we can eventually take into the museum. So I'll leave it in my artifact box to move in the future. And we're good, all right. Well, let's go ahead and see what kind of money we made, guys. We're making a lot of house improvements. We have our end tables now. We're setting things up. I changed up the nursery. We're still slowly but surely changing things. <sighs> and let's just get a good rest and see what we made. All right, woo! Ooh, not bad for such a low investment. The return on those snow yams was really fantastic. Again, the man is surprisingly profitable for what it is. So I will definitely take that. And uh, the little, little dinosaur egg actually sells for a lot more than I was giving it credit for too. Speaking of dinosaurs, we will have to go and take our money. I think it's Monday though. And I think that Robin is very frustratingly closed on Mondays. But we might do a bit of mining because I am missing the mining as usual and we might uh, see if Robin can build the bigger chicken coop for our dinosaurs and all sorts of other projects next time. So I'll see you guys then. Bye-bye.